sharing that with our audience? Of course. Of course. When you wish upon a star Makes no difference who you are Anything your heart desires Will come to you Faith is kind She brings to those who love The sweet fulfillment Of their secret love Like a bird out of the blue Faith comes in and sees you through when you wish upon a star, a streamers do. Yo, 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 <laughs> yo, 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 yo. I always, uh, and the song is like that, like, yeah, yo, yo, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah, Thank I you messed so up much. the lyrics a little, but whatever. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, we're going to take a short break. We'll be back okay. in a moment with Bernardissimo, Fiorentino, Rojas. Thank you so much. Thank and you. And don't go away. <laughs> don't go. Hey, UC3P listeners. I'm Thomas. And I'm Nick. In the United States, public faith in the military remains sky high, while trust in other government institutions sinks to an all-time low. At the same time, fewer than 1% of Americans will ever serve in the armed forces, and the cultural divide between active duty troops and the civilian population continues to widen. UC3P presents a new series, Thank You for Your Service, where we take a deep dive into the complex world of civil military affairs. We'll address the politicization of the military, defense policy in the news, and the importance of staying informed in a democracy. Join us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts as we explore how our professional military institution relates to the society it serves. And we're back for our last segment with Bernardissima Fiorentino Rojas. Um, we'll get straight into it. What inspires your music? A lot of things, but uh, I feel very connected to like this like inner space, like my imagination. Things like dreams or those thoughts you get uh, when you're falling asleep. Like that part of myself that is like uh, part of the the unconscious. That's where like uh, that's my favorite place. <laughs> that's my favorite place. So I, uh, I think it's because uh, I absorb everything in life. Um, nature is like a big thing for me also. And... And I like this, uh, like, blurred interpretations and, and ideas that appear in my imagination and, and dreams. And, yeah. Do they sometimes take a childlike quality when you're Im imagining things? Or, or in a sense, like, do you like to play? Yes. 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 That's what I do. I play. And if you don't want to play... You don't want to be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's like a thing for me. Like where you, uh, when you were asking about uh, who I work with, um, the people I don't get along very well, they, they're they just not that up to playing and messing around. It's too much yeah. business. Yeah. Not enough Or art. like appearances. S stiff. Stiff. Yeah, they, they're stiff. And, and like, we're doing music, professional music. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, no, we have to melt first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And become one. Mm -hmm. You're often extremely experimental with your music, including distorting your voice, taking vocal jazz to the extreme. Would you mind just doing a little bit of fun sounding things? Yeah. Playful things? Of course, I love to do that. So I have to improvise. Please. Okay. Should we like use the piano? No. Should it's, we do the piano? Yeah. 
I don't know how to play the piano. I... Do you want to play the piano? Do you want to play the piano? I would love to play the piano. I could put a microphone over the piano, and maybe Ray could hold the microphone for you while you play. We could play. Yeah. Like, do you want to play? <laughs> yeah, I want to play. I'd love to. So, um, are you excited about it? Are you scared? I'm scared. Okay. I'm very scared. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, just try to keep it simple and relaxed. And it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like improvise. This is what I do. That was really fun. Yeah, it was. I feel, I don't know, great now. I think you're going to have to give it one more time because of the bus. How do you feel? Uh, like touched by the music we played. Yeah, it was beautiful. And I, I just love that, that the connection 
the uh yeah that we get playing yeah when you think about um when you think about how experimental the music is what do you think is your next experimental step or is it hard to kind of know what it is until it is yeah it's hard but uh, i also love to like daydream about uh what i can do <laughs> next so i'm thinking now that i want to record an album i i would love to experiment with recordings and and producing things and processing like sounds and uh and recordings like i don't know uh i can record uh the ambient sound and then do something with it or uh, record in a non-traditional way uh, the drums and i don't know what can come up and that excites me yeah from what i could find in my research Mm -hmm. A.K.A. serious Googling. <laughs> you have visited Brazil. Yeah, Brazil. Yeah, but a long time ago with my like uh, classmates, but not like, okay. Well, I, I, I found that you sang a beautiful version of a Bossa Nova track. Okay. And I was wondering if you'd be willing and able to sing some Bossa Nova for us today. Dia de luz, festa do sol, o vaquinho deslizar no macio sul do mar. Tudo o verão, o amor se faz no barquinho pelo mar que desliza sem parar. Sem intenção, não se cansa, vai saindo de si mar e o sol. Beija o barco e luz, dias tão azuis. Yeah. Is that right? That's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You're currently working on a new album. I was wondering if you could give us any sneak peek into what your album is looking like so far, what your what step you're in the process, and uh, what you think it is going to be, maybe how it's different from the next, the last album. Uh, so it sounds less experimental. It's more uh, pop. I, I like to call it uh, dream pop because I identify with uh, Cocteau Twins, that's a band, and This Mortal Coil. Those are dream pop bands uh, from the 70s and 80s and uh, it sounds a bit like that and the songs are mine not that mine but I I composed them and um, yeah it's more uh, guitars uh, with effects and, and a big drum like a big sound of the drum and uh, sax with a lot of reverb and and my voice like a lot of reverb and some some little sounds like like loops and and stuff yeah where can people come and see you perform uh right now here in chile <laughs> if you want to invite me not not you but the people want to invite me play at somewhere else like outside of chile i'd be so glad to go and uh we have also some funds here uh, we can apply to so we can uh, get some money to travel so that's good to know and uh, but I'm always uh, performing here at Thelonious Lugar de Jazz and uh, some other like venues here mm -hmm. and sometimes I, I get to some festivals near Chile like Argentina or yeah well, before I let you go, I would be committing malpractice if I didn't ask for one more song. Wow. <laughs> this, uh, any song you'd like to pick. Maybe a new song, something old. Yeah, maybe I should sing like. uh, uh, one of my songs that I'm going to record next. This is called Affection. Like, very uh, tied to the question about love, right? <laughs> So it goes like this. Um. 